So we have another massive Helldivers 2 leak in regards to a possible battle pass, a ship upgrades, new warbinder images, new sample symbols, new ranks, like a prestige kind of system, a possible sword, illuminate audio leak, weapon attachments, a possible weapons workbench to customize your weapons people, yes, today we get into it. Oh, how's it going people? My name is DPJ and the winner of yesterday's 2100 Super Credits giveaway is Josh999. Hit me up on my Discord link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 Super Credits? It's simple. Liberate this video with a thumbs up. It really helps out. Make sure you're subbed with those post notifications turned on on and obviously leave a comment down below winners will be picked and announced on tomorrow's how divers 2 videos so good luck also guys join my discord link down below i'm trying to grow my own how divers 2 community so we can all play speak about the game do all that good shiz together again discord is linked down below okay so where do we even start here there's so much to go through i think i saw like a guy yesterday and credit to this dude his name was maz ttv uh he went through like fifty thousand files data mining a lot and has come up with some great great things these could be by the way future things they could be screw up things we don't know nothing has been confirmed but it's still cool to check them out and talk about them okay so first up guys we'll take a look at this image right here that was dropped now it looks to me like if you look at the top left you can see it says season of liberty at a rank six and if you count along guys we're at ranks well a stage six here in what this battle pass could be and it seems as though we're unlocking things along the way uh, this could be something that's been scrapped i do not know it could be something coming in the future again we just do not know here acquire warband it says right there you can see it says top right a 20 percent super sale so it's something being sold here from the store um we can see new weapons here too we can also see this image right here guys which is kind of it's kind of excites me now if this is something that's scrapped i'm going to be kind of disappointed these look like different rarities of the same helmet i could be wrong here um but is that not what they look like to you we've got blue there in the middle we've got purple which could be classed as epic on your left and we got uh, on your right there legendary uh, circled by orange and we can see it looks like the orange one is equipped so what is this is this something they've scrapped is this how it used to look in game is it how it may eventually look in game we just do not know because when it comes to customizing your character we obviously have the tabs in regards to weapons we have the armor and a few other tabs and these along the top here they look like different individual tabs obviously this one's helmet this one will no doubt be armor this one here looks like cloak and we've got three other symbols here which will no doubt be different tabs but what these represent i do not know but it's quite interesting to see guys if this was scrapped or is it something that may come in the future i just do not know people but you let me know your thoughts down below within that comments section but pretty cool if you ask me next up guys we have another new weapon called the mg 206 chainsaw now this is obviously a light machine gun or a machine gun it looks okay i won't lie it doesn't look like the best weapon i've ever seen in the game uh, but it's still something new and this comes from tiktok i haven't seen this on reddit i saw this on tiktok people this is how far i am going to bring you guys these leaks and things that may come in the possible future this guy's got it in game he's, he spawned it in game so he's using it but it is definitely a new weapon I haven't seen before. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys today. Okay, so next up guys, we have another data mind image. And what we see here, are quite a few different symbols actually. Some of these are represented in game already. Uh, but what interests me most here is these rank like symbols at the top. What are these? They remind me of halo they remind me of call of duty they remind me of a prestige rank up system are these scrapped are these something to come i mean in my opinion a ranking system in this game would be absolutely amazing i mean a prestige system would be amazing as well as obviously those unlocks to showcase that you are a higher prestige and your fellow teammates is something we all love to chase and show off so this is something i definitely welcome i hope it ain't being scrapped but who knows people who knows there's so many things they can do to this game 
it's so early days right now so yeah who knows what is coming people but yeah a ranking like prestige system in my opinion is super super interesting let me know your thoughts down below here you guys will see another data mined image and these look like sample symbols to me there's no denying that uh, new ones scrap ones who knows now what i will say is a lot of these files were added with the latest patch so keep that in mind a lot of these were added with the latest patch some of these were from the base game too but the majority were added with the latest patch next up guys we have this other image leaked which showcases many many stratagems and some of these are brand new for instance we can see the three bottom right of there they are what i believe is the in the center it's the recon turret vehicle we've seen gameplay leaked on already to the left of that looks like the apc vehicle and to the right of that guys we see the new auto cannon mech and there's a little bit of gameplay that's been dropped over on reddit which you'll see on screen now this thing looks quite cool i won't lie to you but beyond this there's plenty of other images on here new stratagems that we haven't seen before like the one almost top right one down looks like a drill an upside down christmas tree what is this where is this coming from and what does this represent in game what we would need such for very interesting to think about also that backpack symbol there with a h on that's something that i haven't seen before looks kind of new to me i'm not gonna lie to you but there's a couple of you here guys uh point them out talk about them down below what are these when are they coming super super exciting no doubt about it a couple more we've actually heard about in the past over the last week or so uh, but now we have actual in-game images uh, first up we have the defensive stratagem permit the e slash m 105 defense wall a stationary ballistic cover with a mounted light machine gun can protect multiple hell divers from small arms fire so that's pretty nice pretty cool to see that we also see this one here the e slash gl6 trench wall a stationary ballistic cover with a mounted grenade launcher can protect multiple hell divers from small arms fire so yeah pretty badass guys and again those are two symbols we do see within that previous page now with the upcoming war bond 14th of march we actually have a couple of leaked images of in-game screenshots of this thing active now there's only a couple of pages here that have hit reddit but hey see them on the screen now we're seeing the exploding crossbow right there uh so we've got page one and page two and this is page one right here with the last 16 sickle but yes guys uh people have already got these in game craziness yeah remember this is the cutting edge warband comes out 14th of march now this one is really really interesting in my opinion and it is ship upgrades again these were data mined from the latest patch um and they showcase some really really interesting upgrades to our ship uh there's no two which ways about that we're seeing here with the module stations we're seeing it's expanding going from what it is or what it looks like right now and it's just getting deeper and deeper with more uh workstations and module stations coming right there we're also seeing down here which looks almost like a kind of hangar where we store our stratagems i don't even know what this is but it looks pretty badass and if this is what we can expect in regards to future upgrades to our ship this is what we like to see we also see here guys some symbols that go along with these so how these fit in you tell me but some of these look definitely brand new to me but let me know your thoughts down below now next up guys we had this image leaked which showcases maps and possible future maps to come the one that's bordered here guys is believed to be super earth and if we zoom in here guys we can see this is super earth we see from the basically intro trailer to the game so that's really really interesting will we go back to super earth will we fight on super earth will we have to liberate super earth that's really really interesting this falls in line with another leaked image and we see more and more of these coming every day and this is a breaking news flash your home is under attack millions dead with a picture in the top right uh, of what looks like earth under attack so yeah maybe we'll have to fight for our home now this image itself to me uh, does look like a early concept image i won't lie to you but again we are having new things that actually back this up coming at a daily so yeah now going back to that map image here some of these you would definitely recognize obviously for ones that are in game now what interests me are these two near top left these two snowy maps these i do like the look of i don't know why so i mean my mind just tells me i'd love to see like a different environment more that normal cloudy dark rubbish we are seeing 
I mean, we do have a couple of nice locking planets we already can experience, but these snowy ones to me definitely pique my interest here, as well as again, the highlighted one, Super Earth. But we will see guys, we will see on this regard. Next up guys, we have this image found in the game files. And to me, this looks like a sword. I don't know about you, people are saying it's a knife. It looks a bit big for a knife, to be honest. I know we have seen uh, images in regards to knives coming, which I think this game definitely needs because when you're getting charged at a close range and you're trying to reload your weapons, you're trying to jump back, we need something more than an air hitting melee. We already have a knife, a dagger, a sword would be incredible. This to me, definitely looks like a sword in my opinion but we also see this right here guys democratic protection usage guide brace a knife hard in hand and aim for the soft spots of the bug carapace aim for joints and this could go toe in toe with that last image of what looks to be a sword or a dagger or a knife so hopefully this will be something new in the future we then guys have two more images a very very interesting indeed what we see here guys what look to be like weapon attachments now don't get it twisted these could represent anything but i do think what we're seeing here are weapon attachments we see muzzles we see sculpts we see sights we see grips we see handles we see what look like ammo packs so what are these and what do they represent now again like i said these have been there in mind from the game. They could be scrapped, but it seems as though these were added with that latest patch. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, some of these were, some of these weren't. But what do you think? With that upgrade into our ship and the new module stations coming, could there be a possible workbench for us to upgrade or even customize our weapons in the near future? That would be pretty cool. And it's something I do feel this game would definitely benefit from, allowing players to further customize their playstyle what we love to see people that's what we love to see people now we also guys saw plenty of new armors and helmets which you're seeing on screen now now these videos each are about two or three minutes long now if you want to go through these all at a slower pace i'll link the original source down below i've sped these up because like i said i don't want this video going on too long although that would benefit me i don't want to waste your guys time a lot of people ain't really interested in this stuff as of right now I just want to see and earn it while it's in game i'm a bit like that too i'm not gonna lie to you yeah but some of these do look incredible some of these have exclusive perks to them exclusive passives to them so yeah if you want to slow down the video as well you can you'll see everything as you need to but yeah some great looking armor pieces here for sure Okay, so to end the video, guys, we have an audio leak of the new enemy faction. Well, I say new enemy faction. It's a Hell Divers 1 enemy faction, uh, but they're coming to Hell Divers 2. They're known as the Illuminate, and it's been leaked over the past few days. Now we've seen various images of these. Dead in mind from the files. Some of these look totally badass. Some of these look scary as heck. But we now more or less have confirmation that they're coming to the game for a new audio leak which i'll play on screen now guys and i'll end the video right here so if you want to listen to this be my guest it's pretty cool i won't lie to you but yeah do as you gotta do people what i am about to share with you is of the highest order of secrecy our analysts have detected illuminate energy readings in the area surrounding the singularity created by the dark fluid the possibility of their survival is now raised you are to deploy the Dark Fluid, an Illuminate technology discovered at the end of the First Galactic War. This exotic material yet holds many mysteries, but for now, we will use it to secure Liberty's future. History matters. At the end of the First Galactic War, we magnanimously allowed the Illuminate to flee the galaxy. Now, they're back. Why? Because they hate peace. Did you know? The scientific term for a group of squids is a massacre of Illuminate. All such groups should indeed be massacred as outlined in the Proactive Defense Initiative, Chapter 19, Section D. In the First Galactic War, 
We cast the Illuminate from our galaxy and secured the half-human cyborg safely in the minds of Cyberstan. Our enemies in this war will do no better. Senator John Killjoy Jr. declares, The Illuminate are back, and they bring with them the threat of total annihilation. Which is why I say, let us annihilate them first. Alert. Liberation of currently orbited planet from Illuminate. Menace has ended in temporary defeat. Planet remains under Illuminate control. Did you know? No one has ever truly rebelled against Super Earth. Our top scientists have proven that all rebels were actually acting under Illuminate mind control. Tip number 419. Illuminate outposts are often heavily shielded and are best overcome with weapons boasting extreme destructive power. Alert. Liberation of currently orbited planet from Illuminate Menace has ended in absolute victory. Planet now under Super Earth control. Criticism of Super Earth's ideals are a telltale sign of Illuminate mind control. Help critics by turning them over to your local science officer for re-education. Alert. Defense of currently orbited planet from Illuminate invasion has ended in temporary defeat. Planet now under Illuminate control. Alert. Defense of currently orbited planet from Illuminate invasion has ended in absolute victory. Planet remains under Super Earth control. The Illuminate basically handed us this planet destroying super weapon. <laughs> Doesn't seem too bright for a highly advanced alien. <laughs> Guess that's why they're dead now. <laughs> So let me know your thoughts on these leaks down below. Some interesting ones to think about and talk about for sure. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, liberate it with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest surrounding the game. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.